Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to create a subdomain inside of Webhost Manager. So for today's tutorial, if you want to follow along, you have to either be a reseller customer or a VPS customer. If you have our basic web hosting, you can create subdomains, but you have to do it inside of cPanel. So you can watch this video and you might want to consider upgrading. If you're on a base, our basic web hosting, you can upgrade to a reseller or VPS at any time. Feel free to submit a ticket for our sales team and they'd be more than willing to help you get everything situated and set up within the hour. Now, I personally like to create my subdomains, all of my subdomains inside of Web Host Manager. Um, for one here at Name Hero, is it gives it additional limits. Now, if you're on a VPS, th this does not matter. But if you're a reseller, it does matter. So let's take a look at here. If you are on, again, if you're a reseller, then your cPanels have these limits here. You are allowed to create unlimited number of cPanel accounts, but the disk space is allocated from the master plan, meaning that if you have, say, the corporate hero that allows 100 gigabytes of space, um, you can use up to 100 gigabytes. Bandwidth, that's you get 2,000 gigabytes a month, and again, it allocates off of that um, master plan. So the more you have on the master plan, obviously, the more you can create accounts. Now, each this is the RAM and the memory for each uh, account, so you can see you get 2,000 megabytes of virtual and about a thousand megabytes of physical so it's two gigs and one gig respectively now so this gives you more power right if you have and so this is for the entire cPanel so if you create a cPanel account for a domain and then you create 10 subdomains underneath of that then they're all essentially sharing the same RAM in the memory so it actually goes slower but if you create its own cPanel then you have a lot more resources to that I know some people get this right off the bat but other people don't so that's why I want to mention that it's really important it's so this is why I suggest anytime if you have a reseller account anytime you're adding a subdomain for yourself or when you're adding a subdomain or an, an add-on domain instead of using add-on domains it's better to add it as its own cPanel account now obviously if you have customers they can't do this like if, if a customer is trying to set this up they have to use their cPanel so this is more for your internal domains and what we see this a lot for is our resellers that's wanting to run WHMCS and also wanting to run WordPress because both of those applications take up a lot of inodes, they take up a lot of um, files and RAM, um, then this is best to separate the two. So you could have your WHMCS set up at, say, billing.yourdomain.com, and then you could have your WordPress on your main domain. So th that's mainly why I want to do this video is because that's actually the best route to do that. But again, it, even if you're not reselling web hosting, a reseller package is a, is a great um, idea for those that have subdomains, have multiple domains because of these resources right here. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's super simple and just takes a few seconds. Um, if you're following along, hover over account and click login and it's just going to take you to our client area here. This is where we are going to set up these. Um, this is where we're going to actually access Web Host Manager. So um, I'm inside my interface now. I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting. I'm looking for my reseller account because that's what I'm going to demonstrate on today. Now, if you're doing this on a VPS, this um, it's very similar um, to set this up. There's not many. There's not any more steps. Um, you're just going to not have those limits. But uh, so it's, it's about the same if you have a VPS. So I'm going to click on Startup Hero. My example domain is resellerhostingus.com. So for this example today, I'm going to set up a subdomain that's billing.resellerhostingus.com. So say I wanted to use a subdomain for billing. So I'm going to click login to WHM. And that's just right here under actions. You have cPanel, then WHM is below it because this is my primary reseller domain. And this brings me to web host manager. So if I type here create, you can see here on the left, create an account. And this tells me, this shows me what I can create. This tells me what packages I have available. So if you are on a reseller package, you have to first have a package set up. So let's just say, let's just call this our subdomain package. And this is basically the amount of resources you want to allocate to the package. Now, Name Hero, since we allow overselling, you actually have to define disk and bandwidth, even if you want it to be unlimited. So if I wanted this to be unlimited, we just type in a bunch of nines. And same with the bandwidth. Once again, since we do allow you to oversell, meaning that you have 100 gigabytes of space, you can use all of it before you have to buy another package um, or upgrade to a VPS. If you just put unlimited, then it won't let you do it, won't let us oversell you the space. 
Okay, so now on these um, other options, I mean, you know, it's, it, these are whatever you want. Um, unlimited works for most. Max, max parked and add-ons, I mean, most of the time it's zero since you're creating a subdomain anyways. The email relays and failures, these are default, so you can't edit those. And we just click Add. Okay, so now our package is made. So now we're going to click Create a New Account. We're going to go down here. And so for the domain, this is where we type in the subdomain. So, for example, billing.resellerhostingus.com. If I can type username, we could just call this billingr. Password, we'll just use our password generator. Copy it. Go down here. This could just your contact email used to retrieve your password if you lose it. And we're just going to select our package subdomain. And we can leave all the rest of this stuff default. Click create. And now you've made the subdomain into its own web into its own cPanel account. So now if you were to go to list account, L-I-S-T list, you will see here's reseller hosting US and here's billing.resellerhosting US. So it has its whole new subdomain. It's a whole new account just for the subdomain. Now again, this gives it more resources, more security. And this is also great if you have developers or other employees working, because as you know, you can only have one user on cPanel. So if you have to have a developer come in, they have access to your full cPanel. But if you just wanna have the developer come in on the subdomain, they just have access to that cPanel. So you can see now if I go to billing.resellerhostingus, it's just a, a blank page here. I can log into cPanel, and now I can do anything I could on a, on a regular website. I can go into File Manager, and I could start uploading files. I could go down here to the bottom, and I could install WordPress on it. Click Install Now. You see here the domain's billing.resellerhostingus. Um, I can install WHMCS here if I wanted to. I could just type in WHMCS. Click here, install now. And you can see here the domain's billion.resellerhostingus.com. So this is just a smarter and better way to add subdomains if you have a reseller account or if you have a VPS. Now again, if you're a reseller and you have customers, they have to add it through cPanel. If you're a basic hosting customer, you have to have um, you have to add it in cPanel as well. And now again, that will work and it's beneficial for a, a lot of sites just so they can have subdomains, but if you're really using your subdomain for something like WHMCS that has a lot of files to it, this makes the most sense. It makes it super easy to back up and also manage. I know we've had this question several times inside of our support desk so we'll probably be linking out this tutorial a good bit. Um, but, you know, as long as your name servers are pointed correctly, there is no further setup. You just go in and create the account, and then you're off to the races. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, again, I recommend doing this, especially for those um, if you're using both WordPress and WHMCS, and if it's your own subdomain, obviously. It just makes better sense. But thanks so much for using us here at NameHero.com.